Uh, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to all my fellow panelists. Uh, Rahul, what the Jharkhand CM said, virtually apologizing for maintaining law and order, is a slap on the faces of the underpaid, overworked policemen who are our first and last defense against murder and mayhem. There's no two ways about it. Anyone who saw those scenes in Ranchi, Jharkhand, those last gasp efforts of the brave policemen at maintaining law and order, when being overrun by religious fanatics and hooligans out to destroy property and kill innocents, would be ashamed of Mr. Soren's flippant apologia. Galti ho gai, he says, sorry, Mr. Soren, you should instead apologize to your police forces. Tell me. How else are you supposed to contain a mob blocking roads, baying for your blood, shouting Sir Tan Se Juda, hurling stones at you, charging at you? What else are you supposed to do when all your previous efforts at containing them have proven futile? Is firing live rounds not a prescribed action? Doubtless, any loss of life is tragic. But look at the circumstances, Rahul. Did you not hear that teary-eyed policeman, the clip you are yourself showing, screaming for extra support? It was either him or the mob. What does one do under such circumstances? But Rahul, in apologizing, is Mr. Soren the exception? Sadly, no. Every government, state or central, does this, has been forced to bend before such bullying and appeasement. But they don't mind shooting 30 Ram Rahim sport supporters, no. Then there is no outrage. Do you recall how Kashmiri Islamists pushed in front so that when they are injured through pellets, their sleeper cells in the media splash those images all across the world blaming our security forces. Let me now show you a photograph, Rahul. Do you know what this is? This is tens of thousands of people collected at the funeral of the terrorist Burhan Wani. If someone didn't know his antecedents and landed there by chance, he would think that Wani was a saint and had been murdered in cold blood by the security forces. In fact, even when knowing that he was a terrorist, the communists said his killing was extrajudicial. Some politicians called him a martyr. Others called him a youth icon. The then chief minister virtually apologized in her condolence message. And if you think this is a particular breed of politicians belonging to a particular ideology, no. That's not the case. It was the Modi government that freed 9,200 stone pelters, some of who had killed and maimed our own Jawans. God knows how many of them, once freed, went on to pelt stones and kill more of our Jawans again in just 30 seconds. The sad truth is, India has now been given a choice. A choice as clear as day. If you do not stand with your last defense, our security forces and our policemen, then I'm afraid you stand alone. And you stand opposite a mob that is glaring at you. And once, after that pregnant pause wherein it has identified and recognized your helplessness, it will charge at you with stones and kill you. You need to make that choice before it is too late. All of us need to, Rahul. Okay. Very briefly, you know, uh, Rahul, this is not the first time you have caught my good friend, uh, very dear friend, Tessin's hypocrisy. He asked for, I remember I was in the same debate, he asked for Mr. Amit Shah's resignation. But today, he is not demanding Mr. Soren's resignation. But I want three points. You know, Tessin, Tessin, I didn't interrupt you. If you sorry, don't but I still do. I stand cases. Cases. In fact, I'm going to that agree with you. I'm going to take your. There are different cases. Different now, cases. Look, now, le let's not be flippant, shall we? Uh, Tessin, I'm going to answer you because you took my name. Sure. Three points. Number one, Rahul, Tessin has agreed with you that the writers were not innocent. Point number one. Point number two. I am not a policeman. Tessin is not a policeman. None of us are. The policemen on the ground, you have shown the clips. They were frantic. They were crying. They were asking for support. They were going to be run over and murdered and killed. In that situation, I want to ask a simple question to Tessin. Isn't firing live rounds in the police manual or not? And number not, three, not where the was Tessin? No. He was actually applauding the police action when Baba Ram Rahim supporters, 32 of them, were mercilessly and ruthlessly killed by live no. bullets. He did not ask for the Chief Minister Khattar's resignation that day. I remember he was on television. So, Tessin, the fact I of the matter is so. that this was either you are with the mobsters or you are with the police. We all have to choose now. That no. state has reached. Do you want the minorities and do you want wait, the people? Wait, wait one second. Now, uh, look, you I know, the Muslims uh, who, so who stood up in this case and nationally. Me, I request let me, let me, let me, let me ask. Let me ask. That's all I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm asking you a question. Wait, wait, please let me clarify. Yeah, sure. Five seconds. Sure, sure. Wait, wait, I'm asking seconds. you a very simple question. Five seconds. 
you were very kind you were yeah. very kind yeah. not to interrupt me yes. i am not okay. going to interrupt you but because you've taken my name please okay. allow me after you are done my good friend please allow me comrade yeah. to to rebut you that's all i'm saying sure sure that is rahul's job really yes now 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 thank thank you very much vivek vivek uh, i am I'm, i'm sure you're going to be gentlemanly comrade and not interject me or interrupt sure. me because i waited for you to finish yes, and you yes, took my name yes. so let me please rebut you thank you sure. rahul sure. a i am absolutely shocked sure. and flabbergasted sure. that my good comrade vivek is saying that baba ram rahim and firing on 30 of his supporters and killing them was a law and order problem but india burning 3 days ago 30 states and cities virtually lit up rally and dire straits he is saying his words i am quoting he is saying was not a law and order problem but i don't blame vivek because vivek's party is the same party on record and even shashi tharoor has mentioned this so tehsin would back me up he said that cpim was the only party in the world that publicly hailed his words and communist manifesto's word hailed the tiananmen massacre in which 10054 innocents were murdered alive they hailed it number 2 when no, no, you are diverting you have <laughs> same vivek two days ago rahul on your show saying that it depends on the condition the context of using gustake rasul ki ek hi saza sar tan se juda sar tan se it depends he doesn't whole heartedly condemn it yeah, and same guy and he's Now continued unfair. dr ranganathan he's, he's right, continued down the same track situation he's not backing what off to this you know what he sir? says the muslims what had a reason one minute correct me if i'm wrong this is what you said muslims had a reason yeah had a reason he's saying the two situations are different muslims had a reason Reason, presumably, to do what? To riot viewers. You're seeing it. They're seeing Punawala acknowledges that riot has have taken is, place. I'm not, I'm not justifying rioting. Of course you But are. You're saying they have a reason. By the same token, Gyanwapi Hindus you did, also you have a reason. Have Should they also riot? Cut, cuts off. Should they the also riot? The minorities from our mainstream. Well, Gyanwapi Hindus also have a reason. Really? Should they also start no, no, rioting? No, Kashmiri no, no, Hindus have a What, reason. Should they start rioting the Sikhs who are denied justice in 84? Should they also start rioting Mohan Das Pai? What kind of nonsense is being Played out here, and look at the chicken. 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 Look at the